Welcome to another episode of Making Mexico Home. This is um, the house hunting edition, although the first home we're looking at could easily go in the showcase edition. We're gonna be looking at uh, a brand new construction. Tony, tell me a little bit about it. So yes, this is a pre-construction. Uh, it should be completed in approximately four months. Okay. Okay, uh, we have uh, six bedrooms, six baths, and two half bathrooms, okay? Wow. Uh, it's gonna be four floors. It's absolutely amazing. I know we're used to uh, showing finished products, right. but this one has some great numbers, and I think uh, your viewers would yeah. like to see it. So this would be like a design build. You have one builder, it's not a development, it's just one, one house. Correct. Um, they're 90% done probably, or 85% done. About 80, 85% complete. Okay. And then if you look to our uh, right, we have uh, a reserve, which you will never have a neighbor build on it. Right. So you're gonna have all this greenery next to you, which is gonna so contemplate all the other So views. you have this whole corner. Exactly. So man, that's like a huge advantage. I mean, that's, I don't know what that lot total would look like. The lot for the house is approximately 350 square meters. It's amazing you and, can build a house like that on 350 And the construction meters. is 450 square meters. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So I'll take a look? Yeah, 5,000 square feet. Yeah, let's take a look. I think this one's got a lot of potential. All right, let's go. All right. Okay, so we come to the big front door here. Correct. Um, this one will full of garden. It's like a wall that have like stone walking path or something, yeah, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And this is an entrance uh, from front to back, full of vegetation. It gives you that jungle view before you walk into yeah. uh, the, the living room area. Right. This right here will have sliding doors. Okay. So this whole, this whole room, you're gonna have sliding door glass everywhere. Correct. And it'll be floor to ceiling or? Exactly, floor to ceiling. Yeah, these roofs are, or the ceiling height is friggin' really high. You know, it gives you that feeling, uh, you know, you're in one of these huge mansions, you know, and the jungle. That's like a 12 foot ceiling height. That is really tall. Okay, so you've got another glass here. I'm assuming glass there. Correct. This will and be glass right here. Big outdoor area here. And you have your uh, indoor outdoor living area with your pool. Okay. Uh, and this is the natural reserve we were talking about. Yeah. Um, this view will always permanently be here. It's a federal protected uh, zone. All right, well, let's look at the rest of the house. You said it's got four floors. Four floors. Let's go ahead and walk to the back here. Okay. Um, one of their half bathrooms will be here for your visitors. Okay, so this will be a bathroom here. Right, and over here, we're gonna connect to uh, the jacuzzi area. Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna have your first bedroom over here. Since it's a, sm a smaller room here, the ceiling does definitely help. Yeah. It not look so cramped in. Uh, and the bathroom absolutely makes up for it. It's, it's a really good size. 14 feet. This one's seven by 14. It's a big bathroom. Yeah. It's... Wait till you see the ones upstairs. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's bedroom one, bedroom first floor. One. Let's go ahead and go to the kitchen. Okay. You know, the administration that's operating this will have a room to keep all the cleaning supplies, sheets, towels, uh, et cetera. That's a big ass room for right, over on this side. Cleaning supplies. And right next to it, you'll have your washer and dryer area. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're right next to another very high end rental home. Okay. I believe it's already bringing in 30000 a month, and it's a nice home. I've seen it. Um, I think this one's gonna be able to top it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, this this should be rented out. Uh, he was giving us an estimate in between 800 to 1200 uh, USD per night on yeah. Airbnb. All right. So let's take a look at the, the first floor. Okay. Go ahead after you. Careful walking up. Bear is checking out everything ahead of us to make sure that we're gonna be safe. And some more windows would go here. You'll have a lot of natural light coming in, so you'll have that nice blend yeah. with the, with the trees. A ton of natural light. Yes. So up here we're gonna have three bedrooms. Okay. Okay, uh, behind us is gonna be a, a large window. Again, you're able to admire this uh, beautiful view. They were really thinking about natural light and views when they built Correct. this house. Yeah, you're gonna have, even now, you have a tremendous amount of light in here. That's really that. beautiful. Here you have one of the first bedrooms. Okay. Yeah, these bedrooms are massive. Oh, I got to, 
They easily fit a king size bed in here, no problem. So we're talking almost 12 feet across by probably 18 or 20 feet that way. Uh, by 20 approximately. Yeah, you could put a king size bed anywhere here. Yeah, we'll this show- This way or that way or- We'll show the floor plans for your viewers to get an idea as well. Okay, and then this is the- That's the bathroom. This is the ensuite here. How the ensuite size of that? The ensuite's almost the same size as, it may even be it is. the same size as the bedroom. Incredible. This is my favorite one. Yeah. It's right in the corner, got the corner window. You got your huge double sink on this side. Yeah. You got your big shower head and your WC. Man. Definitely won't be fighting over the sink. <laughs> yeah, this bathroom's like probably 15 by 15 square yeah, feet. Definitely these size. And the window's my favorite part. You know, you can be over here taking a nice little bath. Yeah, you almost don't need lights. I mean, a little here, maybe a little dark, but man. Yeah, it's a, a little light here would be fine. But man. But in reality, the, the size of the windows is gonna give it that natural light that everybody's looking for. Yeah. This is a massive pool for a rooftop. This is almost as big as the one at Mungata. And there's an interesting bug swimming upside down over here. <laughs> Or maybe he's not upside down. Yeah, this will be your nice uh, bar area over here. You'll yeah. have uh, seats, the wrap around. Yeah. And uh, over on this side, we'll have uh, the grill area right here. Okay. And you have your half bathroom, so you don't have to go down the flight stairs. Four bedrooms so far. Four bedrooms, you have two over here on this side. And then two more on this side. You have one to the left and one to the right. These ones will be a little bit smaller, Okay. but they're still a decent size. Um, yeah, not a lot smaller. But yeah. You now I am a little curious because I didn't see, and maybe it's in the floor plan. Are they putting, where do they put the closets like in this one? Um, I think they're wrapped around this side or I think it's gonna be coming in right here in the, in the entrance. Oh yeah. We'll could, have to double check it on the it floor plan. It could be right here. But I think it's uh, there yeah. in the entrance. So it almost seems like a walk-in closet. Okay, and this is the bathroom. And this is your bathroom. Now you've got this extra space out here that right now to get to it, I have to go from here to here, but this is gonna be enclosed by a window. Yeah, this will be a window here, so you won't be able to access that. So uh, through, the, through the room, you could uh, possibly make a, a door there or a sliding sliding door to be able to access this. The reason they have this extended this way is because they weren't contemplating such large bathrooms, yeah. but they were able to extend it within the piece of land that they had. Yeah. Uh, so you can definitely take advantage of that. Another nice thing you can use here is put your solar panels. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, put your solar panels and save some money. Yeah. It's more money in your pocket for your, for your buyer. So you know when uh, your rooftop has a rooftop, that's it's crazy. A, it's a great development. So what are they playing right here? A palapa or? Uh, here you could put your sun chairs. You know, yeah. put some nice sun chairs out, lay out. Uh, they're gonna have a railing here. If that pool was just a little deeper. You can jump in. Right that'd here. be perfect. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the nice thing about this, that it's still 20% uh, uh, construction left on it, where their buyer can still come in and make some small modifications. Uh, but then again, like I said, this is a lot of area you can use for either sunbathing or for your solar panels. So is the ocean this way or is it that way? Uh, over to your right. So right. this way. Yeah, I wonder if you could see it, the water from up here. Maybe if you we come up to the, to the next one. I know there's not a ladder there, I don't think, but... What a nice, nice house. And then this, I'm assuming, is for utilities like HVAC and stuff? Exactly. You have all your ACs here. You can close this off. Okay. And this is one of my favorite spots right here. This is gonna be your fire pit area. A fire pit in fire Mexico. Pit. Exactly. You know, imagine Hopefully. just sitting up here, drinking some wine with your friends, a little fire pit, watching the stars. Yeah. This and will have uh, some greenery, garden going around, wrapping around. Boy. But this breeze is beautiful. Yeah, the breeze is nice. It doesn't get much better than this place. Exactly. I can kind of see, it'll be nice to see the renderings. Um, hopefully we'll be able to post those with this video. Yeah, we'll post them up so our viewers can get a better idea. But yeah, man, just uh, looking at the Aldea Zama premium area, yeah. there's a lot of vegetation that was saved during the constructions. Yeah. So you still have 
the luxury part, but you're in the jungle. Yeah. Well, I keep comparing a lot of these higher end homes to the one that we just sold recently. Correct. And that was, we sold it at 1.1 and it was uh, generating $250,000 in revenue, 190,000 net. And, and it was a four bedroom home and it wasn't in a development, there were no amenities. Okay. Uh, so this one's in Alde Azama, which is a very good plus. Correct. And um, it's got two more bedrooms. It's got two more bedrooms. It's a much bigger place. And the, the other one doesn't have that view. This one has two pools. Yeah, so this thing is really nice. But I, I think 30 to, probably 30 to 40,000 in Airbnb rentals on this one, if, it's, if it was managed by the right company. Correct, correct, I, I, I agree. I mean, this would be one you would wanna pay a high-end company like, uh, oh, what? I don't know, like the local guys, what's it called? Local Lux guys? Local Luxury. Yeah, you'd want to get somebody like that to manage this, I think, for you. Um, but Yeah, I definitely want to get some uh, pro professional help. Yeah, but if you did that, I think this could do really well. Okay, so let's go look at the next property. Right? Yeah, let's go to number two. These ones will be finished, uh, but um, I'm glad we gave this one a chance and yeah. uh, let's yeah. see how it works out in a couple months. This worked out we'll, well. We'll visit it again. Yeah. So now we are at house number two. Tony, can you tell us a little bit about this home? Yes, this house is also located in the Aldazama area. Uh, we are sitting on a lot that's uh, 405 square meters yeah. and with a construction of 360 square meters. How many bedrooms? There's gonna be uh, six bedrooms, uh, wow. six baths. The nice thing about this, it has a, a lock-off system. Interesting. It's really nice. All right, and then what's the price? Uh, the price on this one is uh, 1290000 Okay, all right, well, let's take a look. Okay, come on, Bear, show us the way. We got a great garden area here with a nice pool. I like the waterfall, it helps keep the outside noise down. Right, very calm. This house is a little unique because it doesn't actually have like a front door, so yeah. to say. Yeah. Uh, you would go in directly through your sliding doors. Okay. Uh, your lock off part would be in the back of the house. Okay. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out the insides. All right. Big open area, a lot of indoor outdoor living space. Yeah. I love the net right above us. Was so that like a. You can just kind of hang out there? Exactly. Hang out there, read a book, take a nap. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a big open area here. A nice gathering for sure. So here on this floor, uh, we have our kitchen area. Okay. Some storage. It's got a good sized kitchen. Electric stove top. Uh, now this comes furnished as well? This comes already furnished and equipped the way you see it here. Okay. Uh, this house was um, just delivered this year, so it's fairly new. Yeah. Uh, it was delivered at the beginning of the year. That's nice. I like how they did the countertops and concrete, like four inch thick concrete. Right, nice and solid. And then how many bedrooms are on the first floor here? On the first floor, we're gonna have two bedrooms. Okay, let's go, okay, let's go okay. check them out. Okay, so in this bedroom here, you have uh, two beds. Yeah. Two doubles. This house was designed uh, specifically for Airbnb rentals. Oh, really? So um, it's just fresh in the market. Uh, right now, their going rate is about uh, $600 a night. That would be a uh, low season. Right. Um, obviously, we just seen that house that uh, has about the same bedrooms, six yeah. bedrooms, and they're renting it out a little bit more. Yeah. But uh, we'll see how, how they do at the end of the year with the uh, high season coming in. Okay, another bath bedroom. This one has its own bathroom. This one has its own bathroom, and it has a big closet. Okay. So this would be more of a master on the first floor. Correct. Okay. For bath. He's like, no, nope, I'm gone. <laughs> nice how they carve the sinks out of stone. Yes, the double uh, the double sinks is beautiful. Nice little stone there. And this is chikum here, right? This is a chikum wall. So they did a combination of chikum paste yeah. with uh, the concrete. Yeah, I like that chikum. Whatever, however you say it, I like it. 
So in the upstairs, uh, we have two more bedrooms. You got a terrace up here as well. And your little chill hangout area. So bigger closet on this for sure. Not huge closet, but Airbnb, it's plenty big. Yeah, it's plenty of, plenty of space. Yeah. They all have their little safe in there to put your valuables in. Big shower as well here. Yeah, this is a nice shower. We have good height on the ceilings, it's not low. Exactly. You don't know what kind of wood this is, do you? Uh, this could be parot. Most likely, parot. which is parot, which is another uh, wood from the region. Normally use uh, salam or parot, okay. which are from the region, great looks, against humidity. It looks really nice. Yeah. I don't know how long it's been here, but it, well, our house is a year old or less than a year old. Less than a year. Yeah, it was uh, bit, uh, delivered at the beginning of the year, so. So hopefully it'll weather nice. As long as you uh, have the proper maintenance on it, it'll last you a long time. Yeah. So what's the trick to getting in this? Uh, yeah, you know, you just go hop on in there and uh, go away. Oh. I'm curious how much weight. Yeah. I think it'll fit us all bear. Come here, bear. Nah, he'll lose his feet. Come here, buddy. Oh, <laughs> that's a little painful on the elbow when you land. Yeah, yeah, I think you get some pillows in here, you know? Soften pillows and. It's okay, bear. I'll come out. No, you stay. No, you stay. This would be perfect to get maybe like a little projector up there. Yeah, watch TV. Watch some TV here. Definitely need a, you could actually use this as, if, if it was padded. Yeah. You could actually make this like a, the kids could sleep here. Exactly. It's a nice little hangout area. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so it's bedroom number four. Bedroom number four, correct. Okay. Another decent size, a lot of natural light coming in. Yeah. And it has its For me, this would be your master, just because of uh, the terrace that it has connected to it. Well, look at this. Big uh, size bathroom. This here is really nice. Yeah, this is definitely the master. A nice little terrace here, hang out, the hammock area. So there's a chair up here, I think. No, that's a satellite. Oh, it's a satellite, okay. Santa's chair. <laughs> okay. All right. Oof. Okay. You said there's six bedrooms, but I'm only seeing four. Six bedrooms. For these ones, because they're lock off, we'll have to uh, go outside to the patio okay, and so walk around to the back. You can't even access these. No, you can't access them from the inside. Decent size pool with about uh, yeah. 28 square meters. Yeah, it's a good size pool. Good size. You got your little outdoor sofa couches to relax, get some sun. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And then over here in the back, you got a little uh, cooking area. You can okay. put a grill over here. Yeah. Eat out. And this is also the entrance to your lock-off part. Okay. Uh, we'll go upstairs and uh, check out the two bedrooms. Okay, so this is the fifth bedroom. Oh. It's got its own bathroom, sleeping quarters. Yeah, so it's more like a studio. And your little terrace. Kind of like a studio, but without the, the sink. But it's, Correct. It's actually bigger than some studios I've seen. I was looking at the studio the other day, the sink was right here, and if you sat, you, know, you, <laughs> you would watch, watch you your dishes. Sit, you were sitting on the bed. Yeah. It was like that. <laughs> it was that close. Yeah, you need to be a little. Price was amazing. A little bit bigger, be comfortable, right, Bear? That's that $70,000 one. Oh, okay, yeah. And so, this would be your sixth bedroom. It's got uh, double beds in here. Same uh, sleeping quarters, small bathroom, and your terrace. Okay. Yeah, this house is quite deceiving from the road. From the road, it doesn't look nearly this big. Yeah, I couldn't believe it was six bedrooms when, when they told us. Yeah. It's about 4,000 square feet, roughly. Uh, roughly, yeah, 3,600 3, square feet. About 3,600 or 300? Three, I thought it was 360 meters. 360 meters, which would be about... about 38, I think. Th 38? Okay. Yeah. I yeah, think you're, you're better with the square feet than I am. Yeah, you, you just multiply it by... 10, right? Actually, it's close to 4,000. 4,000? Yeah. Yeah, you multiply it by 11. Okay. Like 10.99 or 9.77 or 9.97 or something, something like that. But, okay. All right, perfect. 
So we're gonna go see another one, and it's from the same builder. Okay. And actually, uh, these guys have about 18 lots here in the Azama. Yeah. Uh, so if clients also interested, they can purchase the lot. Yeah. Uh, based upon the villas they have built, they can make a combination, uh, a mix of, uh, of, of, the, of all of them, and create their own villa. Okay, so they're selling the lots standalone, they don't have to buy a house? Correct. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, let's go take a look. Let's go check out the last one. All right. House number three. Um, we're still here in Tulum. We're in Alde Azama. We've got the same builder on this house that was at the previous house. Correct. Can you tell me a little bit about this house? Yeah, so this is a uh, villa of Florida. It's gonna be two levels, four bedrooms, four baths. Uh, it's on a 360 meter uh, square lot with 291 of construction. Okay, and it's four bedrooms? Four bedrooms, and correct. What's the price again? The price on this one is 850,000 USD. Wow, it's a lot cheaper than the other ones. It's a lot cheaper, uh, but as you'll see when we're going through the house, uh, the finishes and uh, the furniture, it's, uh, I like it a lot better from the last one. Oh, really? So a little, a little higher quality. Interesting. Okay. okay, well, let's take a look. Let's go check this one out. So around here in the first floor, we have uh, one bedroom. Yeah, the living area. I really like the kitchen floor on this one much better than than the last one. The last two, really, to be honest. Yeah. Not true. <laughs> um, got some, is this a bedroom? This is actually the bedroom right here. Okay. Another big ass door. Okay, so it's a bedroom, kind of with a Jack and Jill door for. It's not a share. It's a shared bathroom. It's a shared bathroom, right? You have yeah. it with uh, your bedroom and your living room area. Man, the AC works phenomenally well here. Yeah, refresh really quick. That's not common. This one doesn't have any closets, but again, these are uh, rooms for Airbnb. Every room has its little lockbox. You have a little space there. Yeah, they have a couple of things. Hang a week for the clothes, probably, but yeah, it's a little tight for storage for sure. Um, the kitchen I absolutely love. It's, you know, yeah, big I like, space. I like the granite. Um, it's nice and granite countertop. It's, it's not like I've been to some places and they, they'll put granite here and then and they'll use like the thin one really thin granite it's like well, it looks like hell yeah so this is it's know, thicker it's about two inches i mean this is a much nice inch and a half two inches is much nicer the carpentry is really nice as well yeah. a lot of uh, natural light in the dining room area yeah, it's interesting it's the same builder because this house looks much nicer maybe it's just the furnishings that make it look nicer. You, know, you know what it is too this one is all chikum if you notice and the other one wasn't there was part chikum and concrete okay and they painted the concrete white. Okay. So it definitely, I think the Chikum does give it a whole completely different vibe. And this wood and here, you know what, is this? That has got to be Parot. Parot? Parot. 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 This is, this is the shit, if it's what I'm thinking yeah, of. Yeah, this is a heavy one. There's like, yeah. you can't even. No, you can't lift that. So I can't even lift that. That's a heavy one. I can't one. even get a corner. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice, solid piece of wood right there. Really nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know what set. these things cost, but I love these pieces. Yeah, they're pretty pricey. This is the straightest one I think I've ever seen, but... Yeah, normally they're a little wavy. Yeah, but man, yeah, I love these tables. And this was delivered with the furniture as well, so uh, we do have some nice pieces of furniture here. Okay. Big couches, big TVs. Yeah, it's a really nice backyard area. Very private, very quiet. We have grass. Yeah, you don't see grass very often, and, and if you do, it's not usually in this good a condition. This green, right. Must be a gardening chore to keep all of the weeds and stuff. Yeah, definitely. You gotta definitely water it, keep it green on these dry days, but we got some storms coming in. So we'll get some nice, the pool's a decent size. Yeah, if it was a little hotter, I think I would jump in. Definitely. But uh, I brought my towel, I just didn't bring my swim shirt. <laughs> Each episode, we get a little closer to jumping in the pool. Yeah. I, you know, I like the, we can see the, the yeah. terrace from the two rooms upstairs. Yeah, I really like this house, especially for the price. Yeah, the price is good. 860. Eight, yeah. 850. 850. 850. Wow. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't have the six bedrooms like the other house, but the other house was like a four bedroom house with a two bedroom lock off. Correct. So I suppose 
you know, from that standpoint, if you compare the four bedroom here to the four bedroom to the last, this is favorable, but the other one had six bedrooms. Correct. This would be our secondary, a secondary be a bedroom. This one here? Yeah, this one right here. It's a secondary with its own ensuite. See, now this one has a full closet. This one has the full closet, exactly. And you have a little- Nicely built. And a little bit of bottom. a- You have a little terrace area here. But I've seen those a lot in the center, and I, but they don't look like they would be building houses or anything on them. But exactly. But yeah, I, I love the fact that we're surrounded by a lot of greenery in yeah, front of the house. These plants outside. are wild. I mean, here you have these plants outside that are indoor plants in the U.S. They're called Telefono. Telefono? Telefono. Like telephone, you know the telephone yeah, yeah. cords? Yeah, yeah. The old school ones? Yeah. Really? A, lot of, a lot of people won't know which ones we're talking about, but we're old school. So yeah, they, they call them the telephone. Interesting. That's a cool plant. Yeah, jungle plants everywhere here. Right. Uh, so this is another secondary bedroom. So would you consider this? A, so which one would be the master downstairs? The last one. The last one. Okay. The last one. We're gonna get there. Okay. But this one's nice. Uh, it's got decent sized closet space. Big bed as well. You got your terrace out to the backyard. Do you know why they vent? Yes, uh, because it gets so hot here sometimes that yeah. if you have your closets that close completely, yeah. your clothes can get stinky oh, for, really? from the humidity. Okay. So it's always good to have ventilation. Some of them even have the wood and then in the middle, middle they have like a cloth. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that a lot. Yeah, but like like uh, in Costa, right? they had wood and then it was like a cloth type material so it could breathe. I exactly. I understand. Yeah, and that's why some people don't want to put something like that and they leave them open. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely need a little bit of ventilation space there. Okay. Your bathrooms, same, nice, decent size. Yeah. Pretty much the same as the last one. Yeah, it's a good bathroom. And then across the hall, we have your, your master bedroom. So the master is over here. Yes. A little bigger. And we look here and you got a nice walk-in closet with a skylight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the closets are open, but it's your little walk-in closet. Yeah. I don't mind closets so much being open. It's the cabinets. The cabinets downstairs in the kitchen, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've never understood that because, you know, your plates are clean or whatever, and then just a little dust, you'd have to rinse them off all the time, but... Okay, and then no tub here, but which one? Oh, the first one had the really cool tub, didn't it? The first one and the second one. The second one had a tub, yeah. too? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember the tub in the second. Yeah, yeah, it was the second one. Because the first one was, uh, wasn't was finished the construction. I thought they had a concrete mold for it, though. Why are you confusing me? No, I think it was the second one. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. We'll have to go look at footage. But I'm thinking it was the first one. And it's terrace here. Oh, nice. You gotta admire this. I put definitely a little, little chair, coffee chair here. But this opens up completely. So this is going to give you morning shade, evening sun, I, I would assume, right? Right. I mean, that's going to be, this is east, Sunrise. East over here. Right. West over here. West okay. over here. Okay. There is a, no, oh, I thought it was a, there's a fly or something caught in the spider over there. Yeah. Spider web. Hopefully it's one of those um, tabua flies. Or <laughs> but this is nice and quiet. Were you the one telling me about the tabua flies? The tab no. Ta it's either tabu or taboa. Taboa flies? What are those? Have you heard of them? No. There's a fly here and it stings like a deer fly or a like horse, horse fly. Like a horse fly or a deer fly, right? Yeah. But unlike one of those that like hurt like a son of a bitch, leave a little welt and is gone in a couple days, this taboa or tabua fly, when it bites you, it I just got one the other day again. I've I've had several. But it'll it'll swell. It leaves like a bump. A big ass bump. Oh, that's and crazy. it's really fucking painful. I don't want to encounter that. Yeah, they're bad news, man. Okay. I'm really looking forward to checking out the first one we've seen today in a couple months when they yeah. finish the construction. Yeah, yeah. See how it turns out. We'll that'd definitely a, have to make a that'd be a good follow up. A too, follow up. Get in there. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Very nice. So I think we've got through everything here. So. Yeah, we did. All right. Uh, Until next time. All right, man. Thank you. Continue, bro. Uh -huh.